Hey guys, this is Didi Witcher one here on Jimmy Master Matronics, and today what I have to review for you is the Jimmy 2008 life-size animated witch with misting cost with misting cauldron. Excuse me. So this model was exclusive to Lowe's in 2008, and while it basically looks the same as you know the common version of the cauldron witch, there's a few small differences. Um, I do have the box with her. It's in great condition, aside from a few white marks here and there, it's actually in great shape. There's all the inserts and everything, adapter boxes, you name it. So if you haven't seen a cauldron witch before, it's one of the more advanced Jimmy life sizes. And although she's short in height, she does a lot. So she stirs her cauldron, her mouth moves, her eyes move, and they also light up in her head till it's back and forth as her hips sway side to side. So she does a lot. And if you have the other adapter, which comes with it, but a lot of uh, original buyers of this tend to misplace, there's a cauldron adapter that's unique. It has a unique prong thing on it. So basically, unless you have the original one that yours came with, it's very hard to find another one. But the cauldron can still work without that. So... Sorry, there's just a car driving backwards way weird on the street because the street's right out there. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you some close-up details on her. Now, the difference between this model and the normal model is that the Velcro to hold like the hair and hat down is higher up. And then also she's got more of like a pinkish tint to her face, as you can see, like right there. I mean, that's, those are the main differences between the Lowe's model and just the regular Cauldron Witch model. And they've made a lot of different models on this starting in 2006. And they actually made this witch up till 2013. So she was like one of the last like Halloween collapse or easy storage life sizes. Her and Jason were the last ones. And there's the Cauldron. So you just, you can just pour like, like sort of hot tap water in there. If you, if you had the other adapter plugged in, like I was saying, it will start to fog with the red light in there, which is really cool. So this this item is just extremely advanced for like a Jimmy product. Not that they're already not advanced, but this is one of the more advanced ones. So there's a side view. She has this little spider right there, another spider right there. And yeah, now with this one, because this one, when I got it, I actually got it from Ethan Hyman in a trade. And the only thing that worked in the head were the eyes moving and they had a split gear. So that was in really rough shape. Um, the Jimmy fan took it into his hands to restore it. And he actually used like a Billy Bass mechanism to remake an eye mechanism. But shortly after he got it, it, it has an issue where if you use it like two times in a row, like too soon, it'll just cut out and you'll have to unplug it and plug it back in. So I'm still going to demonstrate all of the phrases, but I'm just going to pause the video and start it up again after some time has passed. And also it helps when the, you leave the cauldron unplugged. But for the first phrase, I'll, I will show you the cauldron moving. So I'm going to go ahead and plug her in. And yeah, and at the end of the video, I will show you the box. But so here's the adapter. She takes a nine volt, two amp adapter. So without further ado, we will show her to you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back once I've given her some time to cool down, I guess. And I'd like to add that she is a bit squeaky with her hip movement, but I'm sure that just is 
it needs some WD-40 or something, nothing major. I mean, I've noticed that like the green sock version of the collar in which it can be pretty squeaky as well, but mine just happens to be so. And yeah, and I also, I did review her earlier, but with, without this head, it was with a different head on there. Cause at one point I had all their parts mix matched to like have one that worked the best and everything. But now, uh, the Jimmy fan has one of those and I still have two, but the other one is just in really rough shape. And so I'm going to play her one more time, but with the cauldron plugged in, and then I will actually go and try and get the wireless microphone to demonstrate that. And from what I can tell, I think it may actually be the eyes that's causing it to be weaker. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, but on the bright side, I actually do have a spare cauldron which board I bought off eBay not too long ago. It's for the 2009 green sock, which model, but if it works, hopefully. I can transfer that board into this one, although it won't have the mic and auxiliary mode. Like the pieces will be there, but there'll be nothing in them on the board. But hopefully after that, she can just be used like normal, if that board is good. Yeah, so for the last um, phrase, I'm going to actually plug in the cauldron, which this is how you do it. And yeah, so she may actually short out since I've used her a bit, but I guess we'll just get to see that happen. Yay, she made it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the microphone. If I can find it, and I'll be right back. If not, then I'll show that another, another time. But yeah. So here is mic mode. Hello there. Be sure to subscribe to Jimmy Master Animatronics. If you subscribe, then you will get to see reviews of really cool stuff like me. Ha 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 ha. I don't know why. Oh, I'm dying. Nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't last that long in mic mode, especially since I plugged in the cauldron, but you got to see what she does, and so that's pretty cool, so. Yeah, thank you guys for watching this review. I wanted to go ahead and make one of her. I guess with this board, if I get the other board in her and she works perfect, then I'll be sure to review her again, maybe get the box down here, but yeah. So after, in the review part, I'll ha have a clip where I show the box, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next review. So here's a look at the box. Now I can't show you the other sides because it's in storage right now, but I can show you the front. So it says Halloween Cauldron Witch. 
life size. Well, I was microphone included so you can be the voice of the witch. Her eyes move and light up. She stirs the cauldron. She sways her hips, moves her mouth, even her eyes move and light up. She chants and stirs the cauldron as it brews. Collapses for easy storage. And I'll get some close-ups of some of these images here because this is like the original prototype witch. So she looks a bit different. You can see with just the overall color of the hands and head. The eyeballs are huge. The stick is also a larger size than normal and the cauldron is actually you can tell it's sort of hand molded there. And then just move this around here. So there she is. You can see her head is sort of naturally tilted to the side. I'll try and make it zoom a little better. And then, and then right down here, there she is collapsed down. So yeah. And the other side of the box is green and basically looks the same on all sides. So uh, yeah.